Ever since I posted my tutorial, my overall demonstration of the Enfold theme for WordPress, there's been one question that I've received more than just about any other, and it's, Dave, at the minute marker seven, how do you get the portfolio functionality um, that we see there with your website? It's really simple to do. It's using the portfolio, uh, portfolio grid element and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate exactly how you get that Ajax look where you click on the portfolio, it loads inside of the current page, doesn't take you to another page, and it gives you the ability to click through content and even navigate to additional, additional portfolio items. So let's take a look. This website right here, this is my current business website. And one of the features that everybody wants to know about is this uh, portfolio feature. So whenever you click on the portfolio item, it pulls it up inside the screen rather than navigating away. There's you know images that go along with it right here. There's a description and then there's a link. Okay, and so how how do I achieve that? How do you get that look? And, and if you click the, the next button here, then it goes ahead and it goes on to the next one. And again, there's images down here below. So it's not difficult. The first thing you want to do is you want to add your portfolio item. So if you look here, I've got Anita Vance, From Gangs to Jobs, Foothills, and then if you go back and you look in Infold, I've got Anita Vance, From Gangs to Jobs, Foothills. So I've entered all of my portfolio items. Once I've entered those items, I go into each individual item, and down in the Ajax Portfolio Preview Settings right here, I add all of my images. I state that I want them to be gallery. You can fiddle around with these, do save, refresh, and see what they look like, how many thumbnails you want uh, in for columns. And then down here, I just enter all of the information like I would on any normal post. I set a featured image. I assign it to a category. So I've got design, photography, and web. And then in order to get it to show up on the page, I navigate to the page where I want it to, to be, so my home page. And you use this element right here. You use the portfolio grid. That's the element that you're looking for. So you place that where you want it. And so mine's right here under work. So if we look at the, at the page, you see it says our work, our work. So that's where it's at. You just drag and drop that element, open it up, select the categories you want displayed, how many columns you want. So if you look, it's got four columns. You look at the categories right here. Um, how many posts do you want? 16. So I don't have 16 here, but if I did, there would be a giant, it would either cut off or have a load more button if I decided I want uh, pagination. And then right here, this is the setting you want to click. Open a preview of the entry known as Ajax Portfolio. If you click that, click save, whenever somebody clicks on one of those entries, it's going to load it inside the screen rather than loading it as a new page. Now, I do need to point out that you you do want to add content to the actual page, the actual portfolio page content, because if they click it and they go there, um, they're not going to see anything else. So I've added a little bit of content right here. Um, I'll give you another example. Right here on Anita Vance, if, you cl if they click that link, it's going to take them to that page. So you can see I added a little bit here. Um, a good example of me not doing this well is from Gangs to Job. When you click on there, it just it just has the image. There's nothing else there. So you do want to go in and you do want to actually, let's see, I'll navigate back to the portfolio items. You do want to go in and actually add content here in the top uh, section. You can use the advanced layout editor if you want. Um, but this is what it dictates what is shown up in that pop-up pop portfolio grid. So that's how you use that portfolio. Um, view, get that animation effect. It's a really cool effect. I love having that available because it keeps people on one page and from having to navigate away. And uh, really simple. There you go. If you have any questions, just use the comment section below and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to get more videos just like this related to online marketing through web, email, social media.